Hi, in this video we're going to continue to explain functions and parameters. Writing a function with parameters is like having a friend who just does things for you. So let's explore this analogy. Let's say we want to write a function that builds a house. On the left is you in blue and your friend is on the right. So you say to your friend, build me a house. And your friend says, okay, now you have this awesome gray house. The problem without parameters, though, is that you always get gray houses. If you want to change the color of your house, you have no way to tell your friend how to do that. So let's try this again, but with parameters. So you once again tell your friend you want to build a house. Then your friend says, what color? And you respond, blue. So now you get a blue house, which is great. So calling a function is like asking a friend to do something, and passing a parameter is like giving specific instructions. So if I say build a house and pass it blue, I get a blue house. If I say build a house and pass it red, I get a red house. Now let's take a look at drawing circles. Here we have code to create a red circle and a blue circle on the screen. The issue with this code is that it is very repetitive. We use the same code each time, but change the values. The radius or color or position might be different, but the overall structure is the same. So what if we want to ask our friend to do this for us? You would say, draw me a circle. Then our friend would say, what's the radius? And you would tell him 40. Then he asks, what color? And you would tell him red. Where should it go? And you'd give him the position. Then your friend says, OK, and you get your circle. Your friend would know exactly how to create a circle. He would just be waiting for instructions from you. Now let's look at this in a different way. The blue box represents the draw circle function. We give it an input. We give it parameters. We give it arguments on the left. And we get our proper red circle. If we change the arguments and ask for a circle with a radius 70 that is green and located at 50, 150, we get a different circle. The friend still knows how to make a circle, but our exact specifications are a bit different. These on the left are the things that go into the box. They are the parameters. So here's the code for our draw circle function. It gets the general form that we can reuse. Notice how we have passed the parameters that allow us to customize each circle. When we call our circle, we can specify how each circle will appear on the screen. Now let's go ahead and explore this in the editor. All right, so we're going to look at how we can create a function to draw a circle where we pass it the radius, the color, and the x and y positions. So let's define our draw circle function. So again, it's going to take several variables in here for parameters. It's going to take the radius, the color, and our x and y coordinates. Okay. So how do we create our circle? Well, we'll call this circ equals circle, and it's going to have the size of our radius. We're going to say circ.setPosition, um, and it's going to be our x and y coordinates that we pass it. And then circ dot set color, and that will be the color that we pass. Okay, and then we just finally need to add to our canvas. Okay, so now that's our function. If we run, nothing happens. We don't get any circles. That's because we haven't called our function yet. So we can call it down here. We can say draw a circle, and let's create a circle with a radius of 30 colored red and we'll put this at 50 comma 50. Okay so if we run this here we see now we get one circle. But if we want to make more circles using the same thing we can just copy and paste this here. Now we can create a circle let's call a radius of 70 color green and we'll put this one at um, 70 150 we'll say. Oops, 700, that's too big. There we go. Okay, if we want to put one right in the middle of our canvas, we can say draw a circle. We'll put one, say size of 50, 
color up blue and we'll put it in the middle so get width divided by two and get height divided by two okay so if we run that we see we get a blue circle. It doesn't necessarily look like the middle, but remember our canvas is a little bit bigger than what our, what fits on our screen. And so we get that in the middle. So again, that's how we can use our functions to repeat commands and make it easier to reuse our code. Now it's your turn to play around.